I did this for you. All of it. And it's those hopes, those dreams. Do you ever get nervous? Hmm? When I was doing Our Town, waiting in the wings for my cue, I was about to throw up. Get used to it. Dad. I'm sorry you're going to lose. Cherry. Really? This from a resting supporter? Now please give a warm Springfield welcome to the President of the United States of America, Fitzgerald Grant III. That man hurts you. He uses you. And he will throw you away when he's done with you. I just wanted to give you the chance to be free. To be happy. We all know we're on the cusp of another election. And it's an important one. And I hope you all vote, ideally for me. Was any of it real? You and Dad? You and me, the first 12 years of my life, was any of that real? I am proud of the work of you. I didn't kill him. But I am humbled by And we dad. both know oh, I yeah. could have. First and foremost of which is finding and punishing... Mom, I can't let you leave here. And who's going to stop me, sweetie? You? tonight out of Springfield, Virginia, where Jerry Grant, the president's 15-year-old son, collapsed on stage during a campaign rally. The president's son was immediately rushed to James Madison Hospital, where he suffered a seizure shortly after his arrival. Sources say that doctors are continuing to work on Jerry Grant. We are still waiting for a statement from the White House as to his condition. Despite the exhaustive efforts of a world-class medical team, Fitzgerald Thomas Grant IV passed away at 8.46 p.m. from bacterial meningitis. He was surrounded by President Grant, the First Lady, his sister Karen. Mr. President, I have some information regarding Jerry. The autopsy revealed an infection from meningitis B. In this case, the CDC traced it to a substrain which is kept under lock and key in Fort Detrick. Apparently a vial of it went missing this week. 